Welcome to Sunster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today there's no time for intro jokes because we're on our last days. More specifically, the last days of Discaria. Now, this game came out on the 4th of October. Big thank you to the developer for giving me a key. And it's kind of like a real-time combat game, but also has a pause button. So it's like an interesting combo between real-time and turn-based stuff. So I'm quite excited to do it. So let's go. When we played the Wicked Sorcerers, before I read it to you, let's watch the intro. The seal that kept the ancient relics dormant has been broken. Battles have started to find and control these relics, as their power is unmeasurable. One of the books of the dead was found by Chalice. and she used it to raise an army of the undead. Each faction in Tuscaria is preparing for war. But the ranks of the undead grow stronger with each battle. That was an epic intro. The Greenskin clan hired you to protect the gold delivery, but it was stolen. Ah, oh, that's a shame. The gold was destined to buy a relic that can be used against Chavishe, the mad sorceress that is trying to conquer Tuscaria. Also, she's trying to build a statue, and there is no art allowed in Tuscaria. <laughs> Find a way to get to Chavishe's fortress in the Crimson Land and defeat her before she destroys Tuscaria. Of course. Of course. Difficulty. And now we get to unlock. But it has a roguelike element where essentially this is how you start off you can buy different things so you start off with 600 golds and these two things unlock this is like the basic how the game gives it to you i'm not gonna take this one because i don't like it that much instead i'm gonna grab the fire stuff it's just the same damage as regular stuff but it is a bit better against medium armor so it also will take this pyroblast which creates an area damage and does a huge amount of damage 275 if you compare it to like a sword does like 26 so it's 10 times so it can be pretty huge now, every time you die you get some points to unlock and for example you, you need certain amount of, of points to unlock so for example for ring of mana you need five you should get five when you finish when you die off so let's start start the adventure you were hired to protect a gold delivery but it was stolen before you started your mission that's unfortunate the orcs of the blackhorn clan have made a pact with chalice avoid them Will do. So you get this sort of a map, and there's going to be a portal somewhere right here on the right that you can use to move to a different area. Now, where is what in the map is randomized? So you always get a slightly different playthroughs. Now, it's not meant for you to sort of explore everything, because as you move along, the army that it said that we're supposed to avoid is going to try to go, and it's going to sort of capture different areas, and this will sort of make you move a little bit far, far, faster through the game. So how do you decide where you want to go? Well, each area gives you sort of different options and resources. You can hover over them to see what kind of stuff you can do there. So let me talk to you about the resources first. We have Blessings. Can use for clerical power also for karma challenges karma is super fun karma is sort of like a game within the game where essentially you're rolling dices except the dices are stone and uh, it has different sort of values and you have one wheel so there's some strategic element to it and if you get enough of a number you can then you get sort of like some success or great success or failure or whatever it's, it's really fun i definitely want to show it to you because it's great then you've got jams which you can use to cast power for spell buy magic items and it's used a use, currency used in the forest money just regular currency food we need so our people have a hunger which is over here on the right and um tiredness which is the blue thing and uh eventually they get sort of hungry and tired so you need to rest which takes time and you need to eat which um, restores their hunger now, aside from that, they also have a health over here, and our sorceress has mana, he just has health. So this is like independent. When you heal, you rest a little. When you eat, you also heal a little. When you rest, you also heal a little. But there's also a different places where you can just heal and not rest and stuff like that. And then we have grimoires. 
which are necessary to move to the next area so you, you need to go to the portal and use it if you don't have any more you can still go to the portal but you're gonna have to pay some penalties like in money or other things so you want to focus on that then on the right bottom here we have this is which is sort of like help which you can learn about stuff over here then we've got inventory so we can put our stuff into inventories for example our warrior is interesting because he has both sword and an axe at the beginning this is our the different factions that are in the game and our communication with them and then here we have the karma so let's go we can start by going to the mountain or to the armory so i'm going to start this off with going to the mountain there's some scribblings on the entrance of the cave okay his markings indicated this was a hideout of the Grand dragon cult they disappeared many years ago so there shouldn't be anybody but maybe we can find some treasure we could explore it there might be something valuable inside after a while we find the large one there's a red dragon inside oh my god oh my god you over there help me i was captured many years ago and i can't leave this cave free me and i will give you part of my treasure okay great as i said i will give you something nice on top of that i will let you live give me all your money Oh my my, it's so cold in there. What happened to all the volcanoes in the land? I will have to activate them. This is kind of rough, but I, I like doing it, so we'll do it. You hear a noise and the mountain starts to spit lava. That's more like it. It was so cold. Bye. Leave fast, at least have your word. So, the whole area now turned into lava, and lava can do some damage and can stun you. And there's a lot of bad stuff, but honestly, I just like the dragons, so I do it anyways. Let's go to the goblins market. In the goblin market, you can mine magical items if you have gems to pay for them. We have three gems, so let's try. What could we get for three gems? Only Hellstorm's battle. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to buy it, but we got it. Summons an FE who creates a burst of fire, damaging all enemies in the spot. That's a lot of damage, but you only have one charge, so we can only use it once. But it's alright. Now let's go to the tavern where we could heal or eat. So we arrive at the inn, let's go inside, and we're going to buy some food. And that's it. Now you can see the black horn clan is moving. So we can see this little flag over here. And that means that the clan has moved to this area. Now you can still go to this area. But if you fight, you will get no reward. And on top of that, you will also have to fight essentially every time you move through. So we want to move to the armory quickly while we still can. And we could try to find some weapons and armor. So let's do it. The weapons there look quite old, but it shouldn't be difficult to find a decent one. There's a locked door. Maybe the nice stuff is behind it. We can't get it because we have no gem. So let's just take a simple weapon. Small shield. Well, that's kind of useless, but it's okay. Let's move to this camp next. We arrived at the camp and a group of mercenaries are eating. They invite you to join and get some food for a journey. Okay, let's take the food. You're no longer hungry and you get two food. Next up, we're going to move to the castle. There we could get Grey Mars, which is pretty cool. You see a large orc group with the cobbles in cages. Seems that she's selling them. Maybe she knows something about the cobbles that stole the gold from the green skin. We're going to ask them. We could also fight her to free the slave. But if we do that, she's just going to make the slaves fight us. So we'll just be killing them. We don't want to do it. Let's just open the business so we don't know anything about that. There's other slave traders in this region, so maybe we'll have more luck with him. I will tell you where he is, but my prices are better. Maybe we want to take a look. Now, I'm going to actually buy this group because I'm going to free them by buying them. I'm going to give them food and give them the option to stay with me, and they're going to agree. Good choice. They're not very strong, but they can fight. Yeah, well, I just want to help them. Also, they're going to really help me in combat, which is quite nice. Now, we could go to the smithy to get some weapons, but I think I'll just go to the ruins. Let's do it. This elf can help sell you maps and maybe teach you something interesting. So I'm going to learn meditation so I can sleep one hour less each day, which is pretty cool. And next we'll move to Magic Tower. A group of clerks is appearing to attack the Mage Tower. Why are you going to attack them? Those mages want to defeat Chalice, which is fine with us, but they're researching forbidden magic. They can be extremely dangerous. This magic is the only thing that can stop her. I already told you like five times. We cannot let her do as she pleases. We know what we're doing with our research. I agree. Let's go help the mages. Let's do it. Some players have gone inside the tower now burning the place. That's just mean. Don't be mean, okay? Okay, so we're going to talk about combat now. So, if you look at the enemies. Actually, you can look at the enemies. So look at myself for the moment. You have this little purple thing above our heads. And that means that you can dodge and attack. Now, when you, it comes to my war, he has two different weapons. He has an axe, which is pretty high damage, and he has a sword. Now, the swords and also hammers, which you don't have, allows you to remove the dart, so then the enemies cannot dodge. 
so you want to use it on enemies that have a chance of dodging. So let's move closer so we can meet the enemies. Also up on the right top you can see morale. If the morale gets to zero, so it means if we kill the shaman and one of these other guys, or if we kill three of the other guys, they will run away. So we want to focus on the shaman, ideally. So my main guy is going to go and attack him. And my sorceress is going to go behind him and she can use this thing, which does an area attack. So let's hit it on them both. Okay, she didn't click it. Let's do it again. I want to hit the main guy because he's the worst the most damage. Also, she needs to move out of the fire. Great, so we hit him quite nicely. And my main guy is going to keep hitting now. Because he doesn't have to dodge anymore or at all, I'm going to use my axe because it does more damage. And my other um, wizard is just going to shoot like that. So we need to kill him, then we need to kill one other guy, and then we can just sort of leave. Now, we get another one of these attacks, so I'm going to place it over here, and hopefully I can hit them both with this. Quite nice. Well, yeah, I, I hit them both. Great. So we killed two, and we're down. So this is a pretty cool tactic. You want to make sure that you're not fighting people that you don't need to fight. We got four gems and some XP. Thanks, we're doing more research in the castle in the next region. It'd be great if you could help defend the place, of course. So now, if you look at the factions, we can see that the mages like us a bit more, the cler clerics not so much. Now we've got that new item, we've got that shield, but honestly, there's really no point placing it anywhere because we already have one, so relevant. Let's go towards the second magic tower, because we need Grand Moras. We head to the library with wizards studying arcane Grand Moras, to the hacked wizard to get some more of them. We could also steal it, but I don't wanna. We could get one for free, or we could buy one for two gems. I'm gonna buy one for two gems because you're gonna need one grimoire per person and we could go to the blackhorn fortress i guess this is the main fortress of the blackhorn clan vertex is usually here i'm gonna try to find an entry that is not guarded you find a crack on the wall you manage to get inside undetected we're inside the blackhorn fortress we can look for any clue about what chalice has asked them to do or being here maybe you can find a way to slow down the army let's try to slow down their army we find the armory. We can trash the place or take weapons. I want to try to take some weapons. Find fire resistance potion. Makes you immune to fire damage. That's pretty cool. Next up, so I'm going to put it to my main guy. I'm going to put it in his hand so we can use it if we want to. We also have this fire resistance and hellstorm bottle. Yeah, okay, we'll give it both to him. Then I'm going to move towards the smithy where we could potentially buy some extra weapons. And we're also going to need to rest. Let's go inside first. Oh, we could buy lightning armor. It's vulnerable against arrow, but good against the lightning. Or a large shield. We have a large spray in front of you that returns arrows to the attacker. Or bone breaker. Ah, we just don't have enough money for a bone breaker. I think I'll take the lightning armor. Let's go to the inventory and give it to my main guy. So we'll give him the lightning armor. You can see our regular armor is, is a 5, and now it's going to be 10, so that's better. Now we need to rest. We first need to eat, and then we need to rest. It unfortunately takes time, so the enemies are moving a little bit closer. Next up, we're going to move to the armory. Oh, I could have rested here. I should have checked it first, but it's okay. Instead, we're going to try to get... Okay, it's fine that we all, all we can do is fight, so it's actually went out pretty well, because we wouldn't be able to kill them anyway. So now I'm just going to attack whomever, so let's send my main guy to go fight this one with the axe good and then she's going to use this ability to hit them both yeah great now she's got this guy to fight so she's gonna fight him by herself i think you keep killing that guy i could call for the for the big one for the with the with the potion for the effort tree, but i don't think it's really not necessary let's use this over there yeah he's dead i'll kill off that guy or this guy apparently because he's coming closer okay we killed him as well all we need to kill is this guy then we've won Eight. perfect we get fire armor that's nice so let's look at inventory what is that like so i can wear it the warrior can wear it oh that's a way better 25 we're mostly protected so the way this works let me show it to you here is you get different armor weaknesses and armor strengths so we're strong against fire we have really good armor against that. So we could go to the castle up here. Let's do it. 
Miss Event Castle may, may be able to find a library. Okay, so this is a karma thing? Try to find the library or oh, go. Let's try to go to the library. So, we need to roll 14 to get success or 16 to get great success. We have 6 uh, karma stones of value 1, 7 of value 2, and 5 of value 4. We get 1 reroll, so I'm going to keep the 2 of value 4 and reroll all the rest of them. Hopefully we get something better. So we didn't quite get enough, so we can pray and use our blessing, so I'm going to do it. It's going to give us 17 so we get great success. It might be a bit of a waste, but I kind of want to show it to you and try it out. So we get great success now. We'll click accept and get great success. Find something really cool in the library, I hope. Oh, we can get three grimoires. That's perfect. And next up, we'll go to the graveyard. We still got time. The enemy army is fairly slow because we managed to slow them down. The undead are rising from the graves and are going to attack you. All right, let's do some fighting in that case. Okay, you go and attack him with his axe. Good. And she's going to follow up slowly. And as soon as they stop, which is around here, we're going to place this thing over there and try to hit them all. Do it. Hit them all. Great. We can do some really nice damage like that. Great. Continue trying to kill one of these. Come on. Great. One is dead. Hit up the others. We can use another one of these fire spells. Not that it's necessary, but yeah, did. We won very, very nicely. We get a health potion, that's great. So I'm gonna give the health potion. The health potion is important that only the person you give it to can use it. So I'm gonna give it to him. He can sort of give it to her or something like that. So I'm gonna give it to him because he usually needs healing more often. We should probably eat and we don't need to sleep. That's fine. Let's go to... The camp. Well, we do have time. We could try to go down towards this ziggurat. I don't know if we can go through this there. Yeah, we can. So let's go this way. Let's go to the camp first. Lycon's warriors are guiding a prisoner. This prisoner helps stealing our gold. We know that you're trying to find the gold, but maybe we can help Vertrug. Right. His prisoner was a slave trader. He was selling cobalt slaves. Maybe he knows something about the gold thieves. We could free him. Or we can offer to help the orcs. I want to free him. Our mission is to recover the gold, so we're taking the prisoner with us. We can respect that, but we can let you free him. Okay, we're going to fight them. We're going to fight them to get that prisoner. Break the cage before reinforcements will arrive. That's interesting, so we get a new thing. So we're going to attack with both of them this. And we could also activate the Hellstorm bottle. Let's use it. So that uh, the Hellstorm is going to fight the other guys. I hope. We okay, keep attacking that. He can get healed if needed. Oh, we should also use this on all of it. On the enemies, mostly. Oh, we won. That was pretty quick. We get food, and we have freed the prisoner. You escape after freeing the prisoner. Thank you, thank you. I have some information about the guys they're trying to find. They bought some cobalts from me. Okay. The gold stealers are going to raid the crypts and the swamp, but the gold should be hidden at the Green Dragon Inn in the forest. Let him join the army. Let's go. Join me, join me, man. So we get Ivor Stoneheart. He's an archer. Okay, let's go. And we also get a level up. I'm going to upgrade myself. I can upgrade my Fire Blast ability so it can do attacks twice. So once and then six seconds later it will explode again. It's after a long time but I think it's still worth it. We don't have any ability on him so there's no, no thing we can use and this guy doesn't have any points. Let's keep moving. We've got time so we'll move down to here. Mountain. When you arrive at the mountain you see a hooded man and a group of orcs lying on the ground. Council of Mages sent me to help you. The orcs were in your way. Good luck. Thank you. We're first gonna go to the mountain down here because we can, because we still care mostly. We arrive at the mountainside. Seems that there are some orcs and goblins digging to find gold and gems. You see in a crevice some gems that you could get without drawing attention. Yeah, let's search the place. Try to do some karma thing. You don't have the bonus, so we'll either succeed or not. But I think it's worth enough then. We get thirteen, but I'm gonna try to reroll this just to see if we could get something even better oh not not this okay um i, I misclicked that i click on this thing click real but you have to unclick that first so that's okay we'll still get that success that's fine we found three gems and 100 gold that's pretty great move towards the ziggurat you are near a temple where you can see some people praying they haven't noticed your presence let's let's try to get some blessings because we really like using them and 
we are out of time because these guys are already here so let's try to run very quickly towards the okay we're gonna need to rest and eat and now let's quickly go to the portal so we can find the gold at the green dragon inn in the forest or the steelers in the crypt in the swamp where should we go i'm gonna go to the green, green dragon inn but first we need to pay the price i'm gonna pay one grimoire per person because we have enough we're gonna pay all three we activate the portal and choose our destination which is going to be now we can first pick a reward because we finished an area resources magic item or ability i want to take an ability for my main guy because he doesn't have any so what is this when just an effort that will deal fire damage to all your enemies. And I'm gonna give this guy Berserker. Increases damage dealt by 15% but reduces armor by 15 That's okay because we have pretty great armor now. And we're gonna be moving to the forest where we can find that gold. Land of magic and lost resources. Rumors of a mysterious disease are driving travelers away. So before we do that, this is kind of an area where you can move between things and you can learn like about the areas. For example, in the forest, we can learn alchemy as a reward for my help to the mages and we can find that stolen gold because it's supposed to be there. So let's try it. Finding the stolen gold was my top priority. Freeing this count will put me in the right track to get it back. The Council of Mages are preparing a summoning that can help us defeat Chalice. I should help them with the summoning. And try that. The scary is it where every day something will happen that will make your journey harder. So we can go to the Elf Tree or to the Smithy. Let's go to the Elf Tree. A hypnotic mist and gauss, it makes you slow, but you feel that your magic power increases. You can resist, learn the focus ability to like lose 500 max HP, or breathe deep, but increase your mana by 40, but lose one dodge. I'm gonna increase my mana on her. So she gets more mana now. Move to the ziggurat or to the mountain. Let's go to the ziggurat. Look, I need someone that helps me getting to a nearby castle. I will heal you now and give you a reward when we get there. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Good, our king is sick and I must help him. Let's go. Let's go to the castle because then we can get rid of him. That seems quick. Live in this castle, someone can help you. Go inside and ask for help. Seems that the castle belongs to a mage. He offers food or grimoires. Grimoires. Takes you to his library, elf. I can spare a couple of grimoires. Seems he has some books with dark symbols. Okay, I'll take them. Next up, we can go. We need to go to the green dragon inn. There's no debate. That's where all the gold is. Restore here or buy food. No, the stone gold should be here, so let's do a karma. 15 is success, 17 is great success. Okay, we've gotten some, we've gotten all the best stuff. I'm still gonna reroll because I can. Actually, we could get worse numbers than what we have. And we really can get better. Because we have used all the best thing and we could, yeah, so we can get better. So I'm just gonna accept it and just take the success. I'm not gonna try to move it to a great success. Alright, so what is... You don't find the stone gold, but you find the magic item. No! Creates a continuous flame that will follow you for 10 seconds damaging your enemies. How many charges? Three. Well, that's pretty cool, but we don't get the gold. That's kind of a problem. So let's move towards the stables, I guess. We arrive at a farm. You see some really nice horses in their stables. So we would pay some gems, but get better time. So let's do it. Let's get a new horse. The rest of the day, we'll travel twice as fast. Great, let's move to this magic tower. The star belongs to the Council of Mages. Let's enter it. A mage is training a group of apprentices. We could buy the grimoires or join the new spells. I have enough grimoires, so let's just learn new spells. Magic Missile or Storm. Creates a storm. Six lightning bolts will strike your enemies doing from 125 to 175 damage. Or creates multiple magic projectiles that will hit an enemy. 800 to 103 times. Put down 8 seconds and this is 6. 15. Now let's take the magic missile. And next up we'll go to the camp. I have an, an encampment, a group of mercenaries eating. They might need to join them and get some food. Sure. And next up, we, we need to move down here because we have this little quest there, so we'll do it. We don't want a new horse, so we'll just leave. And let's go to the castle. The mages are starting the summoning. Defend the magics while they perform the ritual. Let's do it. Let's do the ritual. Protect the mages to complete the summoning. So we need to last until this bar is has run out. So we're gonna start off by using a magic missile. I think, but on who? Now let's first go with her to sort of, yeah, okay, fine, we'll use this and we wanna attack maybe those guys. Now my main guy is going to attack this guy. 
And you, he's going to use the frozen air and also hit those guys. Now we need to move my main guy there pretty quickly. I also like to use the Berserker so we can do a bit more damage. And my main woman should use this on these guys. Okay, and she should kind of run away so they are not hitting her. Rather if they were attacking my main guy because he has health potion so he can pretty easily heal up if needed. Okay, now she should be using... Let's use the missile on that guy. That seems like a cool thing. Nice, he's almost dead. Just a few more hits. One more hit. Yeah, he's dead now. Let's focus on this guy. And use this little fire thing on him. No, he's coming to me. I wanted to use it on him, but it's just like, no! Leave, leave, girl. I'm gonna send my main guy at the archer over there. And my girl should keep attacking that guy. This at him. And you need to be attacking him. Yeah, we're doing pretty okay damage. We can handle this pretty easily before it's the end of time. I'm gonna try to move her away again just because I can. Now kill him. Great. Focus on killing this guy now. My main warrior could drink a healing potion, just be because why not? Also, he should be using the sword to remove this guy's dodge. So let's do it. Come on. We won. Very nice. You get four gems and 1500 XP. Ooh, what is happening? What is happening? Finishing the summoning. Ooh. And a demon comes out. But he's on our side. He's like a good demon. He's like, I'm your body demon. I'm gonna help you out all day, every day. Because that's what I do. Yeah. Thank you for your help. We will take Magma, the demon of fire, to the Crimson Land. There you will be able to use it. If you go to the Sacred Woods, our mages will help you. Alright? I'm somewhat disappointed we didn't get the gold. But otherwise, we're doing pretty amazing. So we need to rest. Oh, and then we need to run. Run from the enemies. Oh, scarcity locusts have ravaged the crops. They will devour everything in the fields. Food, food will be harder to find. Well, good thing I have a lot of food, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you'd like me to do a longer playthrough of this game on my second channel. And you can click on the right bottom to watch. Eratos, Lord of the Dead. I'll see you there. Bye bye.